Hello everyone, I'm Don the Crown, and today I want to talk about Barel Shaza Gate 6. Because although this fight does have a lot of crazy and difficult mechanics, probably the most annoying and time consuming mechanic is the fact that you do have to wait for tiles to reform before dealing with yellow meteors. And we kind of just found this annoying because even on item level, we were kind of having to stop damage and hold damage quite frequently to follow a lot of the more popular guides. And that was just really, really annoying. People were dying from not paying attention or from running away from Brel. And we just wanted to blast damage as much as we possibly could. So we went out and we figured out the fastest way to deal with the meteor mechanics right now on normal Brel. And so this is what we're working with right here. It's a pretty standard strategy, but we just kind of adapted some of the timings a little bit. Now note, it does take a minute and 40 seconds for tiles to reform after yellow drops. So you do have to take a well, minute and 40 between yellows to complete. Blue meteors take one minute after a yellow meteor. And if you drop a yellow meteor, it will reset that timer. So if you had like 10 seconds until blue spawn and you drop another yellow, it'll now be a minute out from then that the blues will drop. So you can always kind of tell what your timing is like based off the blue meteor drops. So like normal at 188, we're dropping all the meteors in the north, and then we're coming south and we're dropping uh, one on the left and one on the right. If you're a raid leader trying to communicate with your team where meteors should be going next, you can just type 101, which lets people know one on the left, zero on the, on the corner, and then one on the right. It's just the easiest way to do it, especially if you're not in comms. After that, you can put, you can stall for 40 seconds and then push to 137 and the top part should be reformed and you'll be able to move up. If you happen to take longer than this and you get these three additional meteors, you can just spread these out across the bottom three and then that way you will be completely fine and can still break the bottom. Next, uh, you're gonna do the 137 yellow meteor drop the next blue set of meteors. If it's three, spread them out like this. If it's four, you're gonna stack two of them on the sides, left or right. You don't wanna stack on the top corner. And the reason for that is because if somebody messes up during the black hole mechanic, if they mess up on a corner tile, that will drop an additional blue meteor, which will force you to have to completely stop DPS once again to wait for somebody to uh, fix that side or yeah, you're just, it's just not gonna be a good thing to do. So you're going to want to always stack on the sides. Don't ever try to like stack extra meteors into the corners because especially in the black hole mechanic, you can get extra ones that just drop randomly. And then once these blue meteors actually touch down, you can just immediately push into the black hole phase at 113. You don't have to wait at all because her time from teleporting to the middles, doing all the mechanics, the little uh, circles going in, the pizza, the hand slam, all of that is about like 35 seconds. And so once you get all the way to the edge, about the time you'd be using Shandi is 40 seconds. And so if the tiles haven't reformed yet, your people can just dodge to the left and right and then move into the south part once they reform. And it should be pretty nice timing. After that, you're going to go right to the 87, break the top with the yellows mechanic. If you uh, are a little slow here and you get a blue, just because people are like taking their time getting out of the black hole mechanic, you can stack them all up on the left or the right of the top and then just break one of those sides. That'll be completely fine because you're gonna break them anyways with the yellow meteor. After that, you're gonna be down in the south and you're going to either, if you have three blue, you're going to spread them out across the bottom or if you have four you're going to spread them like this you don't want to break any tiles here with the four because you already have three broken and that would cause you to wipe and then uh just like before you kind of do have to stall 40 seconds after these meteors to make sure that you don't go and get the last yellow meteor at 37 and then we also noted that uh <laughs> dream mechanic was coming right after the yellow meteor Basically, it's like 35 bars for some reason in our version. Some guides are saying it's like 30 or 28. We kept seeing it right at 35. And so you're probably going to have to deal with the dream mechanic at 35 bars with the bottom part of the entire map broken. So we highly recommend saving Anana for this point just so you can deal with that. And then from that point, you're pretty much home free. Broshaza will break the four corners. And so you have to be careful of that when that happens, but you can just blast to your heart's content and finish up the raid. 
Hopefully this helps you clear up the raid a little bit easier this week. And if you want some more Lost Ark content, come by the stream, subscribe, like the video, comment about your experience with Braille Shazza Gate 6, and thank you very much. See ya.